Cat B. Welcome back to the Cosmic Divine Tarot Baby. All right, now Capricorn, this is your Lovers Abyss reading for the month of March 2022, baby. And what we're going to be talking about is a new love, a new lover for you, okay? Now, uh, we're going to discuss how you feel about this person, how this person is going to feel about you. If you haven't dealt with this person yet, all right, they're going to be coming soon. Now, love, this reading could also be talking about your ex, because, I mean, Aqua and Sag's ex kept stepping on the scene. I'm thinking yours is going to do it too. And the reason why I say that is because these cards came out in reverse. Now, we are setting this bad boy off with the mermaid tarot. <laughs> yeah, I got the water signs and all the, all the water sounds and all the blue back there. Because you know I like to go all out for you, Cappy. All right, my darling. Now, getting into your reading. I can see that... Uh, Somebody, I'm feeling this, your person, the new person who you're going to meet. And it could also be your ex, love. It's like this person uh, is wounded. Like the nine of wands, they got their guards up, baby. They setting the perimeter. Uh, they're putting up their defenses to make sure that nobody uh, steps in. All right, love, it looks like uh, if somebody did dare to step in on the scene, that they would just get evaporated and melted down to nothing. Okay, this looks like some strong defenses this person has. Now, love, I'm feeling like they got these defenses is because you got the nine of wands, Cappy. Meaning that maybe they felt that the only thing they were good for in a relationship was the woman. Somebody made them feel that it was only about the sex. Okay? Now, love, every single time this person uh, had sex with this person, however, it was like very, very heated. And I'm feeling like, you know, that's the reason why they were, you know, they, they, their sex was too good, okay? Their sex was just a little bit too good. And whenever they climax, baby, it's like, uh, do you see the tips of these things? The tips of these wounds? Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Cappy. It's like, you know, it just melted the inside of whoever they was having sex with. So this person couldn't help but just be so sexually addicted to them. Now, baby, the only problem is that we got the two of pentacles here. They were dealing with some type of joker, okay? That, yeah, wanted them for the sex because their sex was so good, but it's like, baby, it's like this person was juggling them and somebody else, too. So that goes to show you, my darling, that your sex could be out of this world, but if you're dealing with a clown or a joker or a player, they're going to go out there and get less than you because that's who they are. All right, now, this person had, was juggled by somebody else. And what they need from you, Capricorn, is to help them through this time that they're going through. It's like, this is the Nine of Swords, baby. Uh, it's like, this person is like having, you know, nightmares. It's like, this person is having, you know, uh, restless nights. They can't sleep. They can't do anything. And they need you to check up on them. See that? That's got to be you, baby. All right? So it's going to be a, a struggle in the beginning, Cappy. But uh, let's see what the destination or the sacred destination between you two are going to be, okay? Now, let's see, my darling. You got the first card as new beginnings. So, Capricorn, if you're thinking like, uh, you know, this person is just lost or a lost cause or you're not going to be able to get them past this hump, you will be, my darling. There is a new beginning for you and for them. And this horizon looks like a brand new day. The sun shining. Okay, it just looks like a beautiful, beautiful scenery. All right, this person got a new beginning with you to look forward to. All right, and here we got this power right here. You see, there was this whole darkness going on on the inside of them, Cappy. And it was like, you know, the lightning was just striking. And these lightning that was striking was different type of thoughts that they had that they were trying to close out. You see the, the hands over their... Um, their ears right here on top of their head. They're, like, they're, they're trying to close out some type of thoughts that they were just tormented in the past, okay? Mm. But with you, there will be a new beginning, a new day, baby. All right? Here we got the focus. 
my darling the focus is you focusing you already know that your um your focus determines your reality and you're going to teach this person that capricorn you're going to teach them about their focus they can't be focused on these dark times they gotta you know look forward to the next day and i'm thinking you may want to play annie for them you know like the movie annie you know the sun will come out tomorrow baby you feel me so they gotta focus on uh the better and brighter times but it's like you're just gonna have to be patient with them okay here we got the daggone truth right here the truth of the matter is this person got a lot of stuff going on on the inside of them it's like really windy really stormy it's like a whole mess this looks like a daggone hurricane or a tornado can hit at any time so it's like baby the truth Yes, okay, the truth of the matter is that you got to tell this person that they're living in a graveyard, that they got to, you know, bury whatever it is that's on the surface that's causing them to feel this way, all right, because... Here is the love that is here for them. And that is your love, Capricorn. This person needs that. They need you to love them. They need you to bring this whole earthly, you know, vibe to them. Because you're earth sign, okay? Beautiful queen of chalices. So it's like, baby, you're going to have to show them this love. Because they don't know it. They don't know love, all right? It's like really... You know, they, I don't think they've ever really experienced that. I think they experienced a lot of, like, pain and, and, and whatnot from the past, baby. Now let's go ahead and talk about who these signs are. You're dealing with a Venus. And this is a Taurus and Libra. But the fact that their planet is Venus, which means they're the god or goddess of love, it's difficult for them to not know it. Capricorn, it's difficult for them to not know the love when their ruling planet rules love, baby. Okay, boom, baby, got this aqua, aqua right here. Uh, it looks like they're not pouring their chalices. They're lifting their chalices up like they don't feel that, you know, uh, they have any more love to give. But this is Aquarius. Aquarius is love. So Aquarius got to be reminded that they are love, baby, that they are love itself. How about this Pisces? This Pisces got to get pulled out of that world that they're in, that they've escaped to because they got their heart broken. Okay, baby, now here we got the Mercury. The way you do all of that is with your communication, Capricorn. This is a Gemini and a, uh, a Virgo. So, you know, you just turn on that other side of you and come to them like some type of hermit. Like, you know, that they can trust you because it's just you and them there, right? Love, here's this Earth sign. This is a double confirmation of that Taurus and that um, uh, Virgo. Okay, you also got... Another Capricorn that could be you stepping on the scene. Now here we got this uh, Scorpio. You got a lot of water and a lot of earth here, my darling. And air. I don't see any fire yet, but Scorpio can hold on to things for, for like years at a time. They don't know how to let go. But you're going to help this person let go. Here we go. Taurus again. There's three Tauruses on the board, baby. So that's who you're dealing with. You're dealing with a Taurus that needs you. Okay, this Taurus needs you, baby. Let's go ahead and get some Menara messages. Okay, they need you. They don't even know that they need you as much as they do. Okay, they think that because they're an earth energy and because they're so strong and whatnot, uh, that they're just going to go ahead and focus on your body, right? They're going to go ahead and have all types of sex with you, but baby, you can see through that, love. Look, you are the daggone devil in the deck. You know all about sex. You ain't, nobody got to tell you about it, baby. And I know this person's very good at what they do. But like I said, they're coming up against the devil. So, you, yeah, Cappy, you're you going to put it on them, ain't you, baby? But then you're going to have to let them know also that there's more to life than just sex. They got to heal these wounds, right? Okay, bottom of the deck, baby. Listen, look at that. Nine of air. This person got their defenses up, stuck in some type of place that is like uh, in this painting that they're trying to get out of, right? But only their leg is coming out, so they're not out of there yet. All right, they're not out of there yet. All right, let's see. 
But Capricorn, I know you can be very patient and you move very slow. Okay, so it's like this person like is going to be a mess though. You dealing with them. Uh, Capricorn, we got the four of earth. It's like they're going to be in their feelings and uh, a mess coming up to you a lot on their knees. Just begging you for your... Uh, Attention, baby. So this person is going to require a lot of attention. You can be at work. You could be at a restaurant. And here they come begging for your attention. Now, I don't know if they're going to be on their knees like this, but they will make a scene like you hurt them if you don't give them the attention that they require or that they're asking you for at that moment, which will make a scene. Now, here we got you rushing away from them. See, Captain... This could be you rushing your communication to them to calm this person down. Or, baby, this could be you rushing, getting in your car and getting the hell out of Dodge. But, love, I don't advise that you do something like that. I advise that you slow it down. Or this could be your person rushing into you, but it's in the upright. And the uprights talk about you. The reversals talk about your person, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get the two of pentacles. Ooh, Cappy, see, baby. Uh, we got the Queen of Fire here. This person got their hands all up in the booty and the kitty. Okay? Because they don't want you to juggle them. They're like, listen, uh, somebody juggled me in the past, made me feel like I was worth less. So I'm going to make you, you know what I'm saying, going to have my hands all up in your booty, all up in your kitty to make you feel that you will never step out on me, okay? Uh, bottom, uh, middle of the deck, we got the uh, Knight of Fire. They're not going to overstand your in and out, Capricorn, but you got things that you do. You got empire that you're building. You got something that you're doing, and then you don't have time to be sitting around there and letting this person have their fingers all up in the booty and the kitty all the day on time, baby. Okay, yes, the, yes, you are the devil, but this person is trying to come out as the devil, too. Now, Capricorn, you know, can't nobody do the, the daggone, you know, hot, fiery devil, sexy as you. But this person going to try to imitate it. By imitating it, they think that you're not going to go out and do the things that you have to do, which is building up your goals, baby. But, love, you're going to have to school them in that, too, Cappy. Like, wait a minute. Uh, no, baby. Here we go. Bottom of the deck. The lovers right here. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision when it comes to them, though. Like, when it comes to them having nightmares, like, they may wake up in the middle of the night and be calling you. But meanwhile, you're busy doing something in the middle of the night. You could be a painter. You could be somebody who decorates homes. You could be somebody who builds homes, okay? But this lover right here is going to keep calling you up, wanting you to get all booty butt naked with them in the bedroom, baby. Okay? Now, uh... You, you, I don't know what you're going to do, Capricorn. Here we go. Uh, yeah, baby. It's an, baby, that, that is what they want, Cappy. Okay, they, they want the, the kitty, baby. So they up on the same nine of that going, um, uh, what's this? Nine of water. They want to go ahead and give you the orgasm at least nine times. They would just lift up your dress and give them the kitty the one. That's all they want. You step on the same. It's like, wait a second, you know. <laughs> Here we got the dad going ace of, um, Water at the bottom of the deck in reverse. This person thinks that lust is love. Okay? Bad, bad, top of the deck. Now, this person walking around, still thinking about their past and the things that have happened to them. And it's like, ugh, Cappy, I don't know what you're going to do, baby. But uh, it's like this person is stuck. It's going to be stuck in the past for a little while while you're dealing with them, okay? They're going to be walking around on red thinking about sex all day, all right? It's going to be just sex on the mind all day. Here's the love oracle cards. Back together. They could also be thinking about somebody who they want to get back together with, who they, uh, you know, think will happen as time progress, okay? It says um, back it says reunited. Yeah, good chance of getting back together. That's and this could be if you left them. They will come running to you like on this uh on this uh, like if you ran from them, they're not gonna just go ahead and let you go, baby. This could be the reason why the four of pentacles is here. You could be running towards the things that you want to do in life and this person uh, come up to you begging you for some type of attention, okay? That could be you running from them as breaking up with them or just doing something else, love. Here is a twin 
flame. That's who you're dealing with, the twin flame here. The yin-yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, okay? This person is going to have a lot of passion. They're going to have a lot of desire. Capricorn is like, oh, baby. An uh, altered view. Now it says seeing things differently than they are. You know, your past may be influencing the situation or their past is. And you need them to calm that ass down, baby. Girl with a snake. Now it says an empath and a narcissist being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. Then you're going to have to enable boundaries with this person, Cappy. Because it's like if there's some type of, you know, narcissist and you're an empath, love, you're going to have to, yeah, take off the rose colored glasses if you have them on anyway if you have on the rose colored glasses baby take them off you may be dealing with a narcissist girl with a snake once you uh take the daggone glasses off you're gonna see that that one that this person got is a damn snake okay yes baby okay uh, mask here we go they like smiling at you all the time, don't they? But beneath that mask, this person is hiding. They're not showing their true feelings. You know what I'm saying? And then they try to gaslight you, making you think that you're the reason why they, uh, you know, are feeling a certain type of way. But then we have kisses. When this is actually how you're feeling, you're unconditionally loving this person. And that's what it's going to take, Cappy. Unconditional love. Now, let me see some of the things that this person is saying to you before this video cut off. This video will be cutting off on us, Capping. All right? They just cut off cut off me on uh, Aqua's video. I said, man, that was just rude. Let's pull from the bottom of the deck. Okay, Scorpio. Yeah? Scorpio came out. You may be dealing with one of them. They, you know, require all this attention. Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius didn't come out, but here's Sagi right here. Sagi is somebody, you know, who wanted to be uh, free or whatever. Or it's like they got their aim on you. That's what Sag got their aim on you, ready to strike with the uh, with the wand, baby. Okay, bottom of that, you got the Pisces here too. So you're dealing with the Pisces as well. All right, this person, darling, don't you know that I love you too much? It's like you got to talk to them like that. You got to talk to them like that, you know? Let's go ahead and pull from this card right here. Do you want me like I want you? It's like you're going to be asking these person these questions because they're going to be still stuck in their past. And you know they're going to be wearing a mask, baby. And like this person going to be asking you, do you trust me? How are you going to trust this person when you know that they're not telling you everything and that they're still stuck on the ex? I don't know, baby. This person talking about, I can't face another day alone. But you're not trying to have this person be alone. You're just trying to go out and do something else. Capricorn, I've been getting this reading for you again and again, haven't I, baby? I mean, you've been dealing with a very needy individual, Cappy. Very needy. Like, I mean, this person need to go ahead and grow up. Uh, people got things to do. Talking about don't run from me. You're not trying to run from them, Capricorn. You're just trying to... Mm, baby, yeah. Here we go. Open the door. I'm outside. You're not trying to run from them. This person got you outside, baby. You said open the door. You're outside because this person is not opening up and letting you know how they feel. They closed off. Now let's go ahead and go to the uh, bottom of the deck here. Okay. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you mine. Okay. Oh, that's why they think you're supposed to just go ahead and step on the scene and lift up your dress. Like, you know, I would just give you the kitty and you take the wand, the booty, everything. Uh, here we go. Boom. Libra. You may be dealing with a Libra too. Like I said, that Libra was up there. This card right here, I just can't say goodbye. Now, Capricorn, you may be doing a little bit too much in this relationship, love. You may be doing, because the Libra is the balancer. This relationship could be off balance. And it's like, you just can't say goodbye to this person. Bottom of the deck, Gemini, okay? Mm, let's get to the uh, the top of the deck right here. You could be also dealing, yeah, Taurus, this is the fourth time. Or is it the fifth? Uh, baby, you got the Taurus. You dealing with the Taurus, okay? Yeah, Cappy, you dealing with the Taurus, baby. Oh, here's the Aquarius. Okay, yeah, all these signs coming out, letting you know these people who you're dealing with. This person, don't you see what you're doing to me? 
maybe this person don't see or know what you're doing to them or you know it's like they, they act like you don't know what you're doing to them but it's like they don't know what they're doing to you Capricorn you got your heart open here and this person's like you know having you on the outside and, and asking you do you trust them when it's obvious that they don't trust you baby hmm Taurus is a very can be a very difficult sign to deal with because they're very stubborn. They're very stubborn. It's like, yeah. mm. And Aquarius can be stubborn too. We're dealing with fixed signs. And Capricorn, you're a, uh, you're a cardinal sign. You're not a fixed sign. But when you're dealing with people who are a fixed sign, baby, it's difficult for you. It's very difficult. Mm. Yeah, baby. Anyway, love. If this person is a narcissist, you need to leave this person alone, baby. Talking about falling in love with somebody who's a narcissist and you have an unconditional love and feeling all this affection for them. But it says giving and receiving affection. This person is giving you a lot of sex, baby. While you being affectionate here. <sighs> Alright, well, Cappy, of course that decision is yours, my darling. Next time I give you a reading, we're going to see what else is going on, okay? Now, Cappy, this has been your reading. If it resonated with you, uh, don't you forget, hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know I will be uploading new messages for you, darling. And if this is not your message, then don't worry about it. I'm just going to get you next time. Capricorn. Uh, if you need a personal reading, then contact me on Facebook Messenger or uh, WhatsApp, okay? So until next time, my darling, peace, love, and light.